Good evening. Welcome to our concert. Tonight is all about two things. It's about music and it's about people and what happens when those two things come together. Rona plays laptop using a fantastic software called Notion. Um, Notion allows us to write huge variety of different musical scores, um, trigger all sorts of sounds, um, and Rona has control using a system of switches. So she can move around the score as if she's turning a page of a part. She can trigger her notes. If she speeds up, the music speeds up. If she slows down, it slows down. So it's a very expressive, reactive system. So Chris, next to me, uh, we've already talked a little bit about Rona's switch system using Notion. And Chris also uses Notion, and Chris controls Notion not by pressing a switch, he triggers Notion using his bite and the muscles in his face. And this band across his forehead basically can connect, can um, sense the electrical activity of his muscles. And he can trigger with great accuracy a whole variety of rhythms. I'm reliably informed by Chris he can click in semiquavers. Um, and so when you hear a rhythm or a melody that Chris is playing, he's often clicking that, that melody and then triggering all of those sounds. Um, and in this piece, Rona and Chris work together on some sort of huge brass chorale kind of moments. So these very tiny movements are triggering the most extraordinary sounds. And that's one of the things we find so exciting about digital orchestra, is it captures movement and makes it incredible. On the iPad, you can actually set up each person's performance experience in advance, how many notes they've got, how close together they are, how many octaves they're playing. So the music came about through a conversation we had early on and we were looking for a theme and Andrew, Andrew here had, had recently uh, been given the opportunity to control uh, a, an aeroplane over, over France and came back to the, to the group and explained to us what amazing experience that had been. So we, we discussed flight and bird flight and um, discussed the skein, which is the, the V-shape that geese fly in, where one goose takes the takes the resistance for the rest and then falls back and another takes the strain and uh, that's been kind of the inspiration for for most of this music. The first piece we'll perform as a trio called Gliding. The second piece with the, the full group is called Bounding and I did a bit of research into, into bird flight and bounding is a, is a sequence where the bird flies in 3-4 in waltz time. It flaps, it flaps for three beats, then it glides for three beats, it flaps for three beats and glides for three beats. It's quite beautiful, you'll see it in a lot of small bird flight and even magpies fly like that. So the second piece is inspired by that and it's called it's called bounding. Mm -hmm. 